Hello everybody, welcome back to Exotic Astrology and the other day somebody asked me how to sleep better. I'm not able to sleep. I'm not getting sleep in the night. I keep hovering. As in Hindi they say, karvate badalta rehta hoon. <laughs> Even if everything is fine, still I don't get sleep. Okay, so if you are the one who is suffering from this disease then you must watch this video till the end and if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation regarding your career your marriage or any other placements in your horoscope or you want to talk to me in general about your spiritual life or to overall improve your life in general then you can go to my website and book a personal reading one-to-one -one. you will find the link of the website in the description of this video below okay and before I begin, as I always say, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him and he will help you sleep better. So now, what's happening these days? Insomnia is increasing very badly. So people, they are sleeping actually externally in the bed, but they are not getting sleep. And even if they are getting sleep, they are not going into deep sleep. So there are many medical uh, things which I can say you know level one to sleep level two sleep level three sleep but I will not go into those technical details here because that that's not important what will you do by knowing so the point is when we just fall asleep that's you can that's like the first stage and then we fall asleep deeply but but during that stage also we can have dreams and then if we are very lucky then we go to deep sleep which is actually recommended which is actually required and some say there is another level also anyways so the point is when we go on go into deep sleep what is happening is our body is not able to rejuvenate and the number one symptom is you feel lethargic during the day the number one, one symptom of bad sleep is you for without any reason you will feel lethargic throughout the day no good reason just everything is fine still you are feeling lethargic so when that is happening we have to understand our body is not getting rejuvenated properly okay and the question is why is that happening well the answer is very simple because our mind is very disturbed should i repeat our mind is very disturbed we are not able to calm the mind we are not able to make peace with the mind as they say because of which what is happening is during the day we are too much hyper and then when we go to sleep the mind is again hyper so rajas is too much in the body the mode of passion there are three modes the Gita says rajas uh, so sorry sattva gun rajogun and then tamogun the mode of goodness the mode of passion and the mode of ignorance so when the mode of passion is very 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 high in the body then the mind is like hovering always Today the mind is going here, tomorrow is going there. As in Shimal Bhagavatam, it is said that Manorathe na sati dhavato bahi, which means that the mind is going in the Manorathe na sati. It is like a Manoratha, the chariot of the mind. The mind is going here today to this girl, tomorrow to that girl, today to this boyfriend, tomorrow to my ex boyfriend. Yes. <laughs> so when that is happening, is all we are going from one job to the other. You want to go to US to work, then to Canada, then to Germany. Yes, these places. We we, we think that when we keep hovering from new new pl one place to the other and keep going to new new places, we'll find happiness. So then, what happens is our life becomes like an endless quest for pleasure. It's like a never-ending quest. You will never find uh, that a person who is in rajas he is very happy. You will never find it because the moment he obtains something. He thinks that now I have to obtain something else. So that means he has still not obtained anything, you see. Because if you get disturbed when you don't have something, even when you have some other things, then you will always have the craving. And Bhagavad Gita says this that Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma Naso Chati Nakang Shati Sama Sarveshu Bhuteshu Madhbhaktim Lavate Param. Gita says that. Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma, one who is situated in transcendence, na sochati na kangshati, he does not do two things. 
सोचति कांक्षति सोचति मीन्स टू हैंकर यस सोचति कांक्षति इट्स हैंकरिंग एंड लेमेंटेशन बेसिकली लेमेंटिंग मीन्स टू कीप क्राइंग फॉर द थिंग्स दैट वी लॉस्ट ओके एंड हैंकरिंग मीन्स ओ आई वॉन्ट दिस आई वॉन्ट दिस आई वॉन्ट दिस काकांक्षा इज ऑल्सो एस्पिरेशन एज दिस है ना एंड सोचति कैन ऑल्सो बी समटाइम्स लेमेंटेशन वेर वी आर thinking too much either we want this or we lost that so when there is hankering and lamentation the mind is not peaceful hankering is from the mode of rajas the uh, mode of passion and lamentation is in the mode of tamas ignorance so a man who is filled with hankering and lamentation cannot sleep because the body is not at rest and when you are not at rest you cannot get rest actually it's like suppose a car is already running so suddenly if you press the brakes what happens the system gets corrupted right it may not happen with big cars but generally the system will be very badly affected if you are if the car is running at 100 and suddenly you press press the brakes yes it's very bad for the car that is why anybody who is a good driver they will know that once we see that there is an obstruction ahead we have to slow down and then gradually as we reach near we press the brakes but it doesn't happen these days why it is not happening because we are not letting the mind become peaceful because our activities in life are filled with rajas and tamas for example when you are going to the company if you are discussing about who is having an affair with whom so then what you are doing is you are fueling the rajas inside okay she is having an affair okay with whom oh with this man aha 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 so then you see you if you are single then you will also get desire oh he is having this girlfriend i should also have wow she has a very nice boyfriend what about me yes then you will see that people are going on uh, drinking wine eating meat going to the disco clubbing pubs in the night such a waste of time you see and then they are hyper activating their mind and when you are doing all these things then what happens your mind cannot calm down in the night your mind is so disturbed all the time that it always feels that it needs to keep doing something but when you sleep you are not supposed to do anything you are just simply supposed to sleep but when your mind is so disturbed it thinks that no 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 there is no need to sleep i need to achieve i need this i need that i need that that is why many people tell that although they are sleeping but something is going on inside they can't sleep properly now you may take different medicines you may do this you may do that th- th- that can cure the problem uh, physically to some extent but if internally your mind is not calm none of the medicines none of the pills will work they will only do more harm sleeping pills okay so taking sleeping pills is not an option of course we can take uh, certain foods which are rich in potassium that helps us our body to calm down more like avocado is one food we can take that is one example but that's not the ultimate solution that's a solution at a superficial level the most <coughs> important thing that we need to do is we need to increase sattva guna inside <coughs> when sattva guna is there in our body automatically our mind is peaceful <coughs> and then we can go to sleep and how do you increase sattva guna inside sattva guna is increased when you do things which are in sattva guna you are associating with something which is sattva sattva is goodness so one of the primary things is uh, having a vegetarian diet preferably even without onion and garlic if you cannot have then it's okay but at least avoid meat and if you are eating meat then try to reduce it and eventually give it up that is that's the first thing then the second thing is you do not drink unnecessary things like wine alcohol <coughs> or things which are also in rajas these these things are in tamas but there are also things in rajas like too much sweet like people eat sometimes na lassi and it is like when you drink it you feel as if they put five gla- five uh, teaspoons or tablespoons of sugar in it it's not lassi actually it's sugary <laughs> 
and then there are different flavors they will add strawberry this that raspberry blueberry blackberry so even if you are eating sweet items we have to ensure that we are reducing the quantity of sugar or we can use honey or jaggery and that's best so when we do that then rajas will not go inside our body and then at least physically we will be able to deal with rajas so that is very important and then drinking milk is also a very good option because milk is in the mode of goodness it is in sattva guna cow's milk that's very important if you can't do or you have lactose intolerance that's fine there's no problem with that and then if you also get up early in the morning and you take a bath preferably in cold water unless you have some medical reasons that will also help to increase the sattva guna inside your body okay so when you are doing that then you will naturally see your life is becoming more structured more stabilized and then you should also wear fresh clothes always fresh clothes means uh any clothes which you have which you have which you were wearing before that should be washed and only then you should wear it you should not wear clothes which you had uh, used earlier but you didn't wash because those clothes are in the mode of tamas tamoguna okay so when we are wearing those clothes the tamoguna is reinstantiated in our body and apart from that if we are uh, eating then the eat, the food should be freshly cooked we should not eat junk food even if you are a vegetarian some people think that oh vegetarian people they are always eating nice foods because they don't eat meat no that's not correct and eating foods which are having too much spice in it some spice can be there but there should the the it should not become that you are adding 20 chilies there are some people who do like that you can add chilies there is no problem but because they will increase the rajas inside your body and then you will have these problems now i am having problem in the morning <laughs> i am having piles this happens that happens once in a blue moon you took some that's fine i am not saying all that but generally that should not be the tendency and then taking too many uh, very very rich foods like in restaurants best is to avoid restaurants cook freshly cooked food in your uh, food in your home that's best eat that that is in the mode of sattva and the best is if we can bring something that day and only cook it that day that is like very high level because in cities that's not possible these days that somebody comes and gives you things in the morning and you cook it that is not possible but at least you can keep in fridge and you can eat and cook and eat it that day itself don't Uh, don't eat things which are made the day previous worst case it's okay but generally we should not eat everything should be freshly cooked and then only we should eat and then of course if you are going on uh, drinking or smoking or alcohol or all those things then our mind will be very disturbed we will feel low 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 low, low all the times so then also it will create disturbance in sleep and apart from that we should avoid people who are giving us stress should i repeat the biggest factor in stress is people suppose you got a job and then somebody calls you and says oh i heard you got a job but i think the package is not very good now why are you joining that job you got a stress my god you are happily sitting you are happy with the package but then somebody calls and says hey w- what's the problem man why are they offering you this much basically sometimes what people do they spread their own unhappiness which is inside to others and they like doing it. there are many people like this so we need to maintain distance from those people and then seeing debate shows in the night television my god it's like it's a royal road for frustration or watching uh, different serials watching pornography then game of thrones the big boss then reading sensual books yes 50 shades of gray or reading books like fantasy la la land harry potter these things put you in imagination they go, they take you away from the real source which is god so a person who is always in fantasy is always frustrated because his expectations are never met in reality 
now we might have done all those things that's okay but we should not do it now now we should become mature now we should not waste this human life and ultimately we should do spiritual practices by which our mind gets calm chanting mantras in the morning then reading scriptures like the gita fantastic it is and then in the weekend we can visit a spiritual center which is nearby and we can go and associate with the people there people means not any people the people who are having spiritual wisdom we should go to them we should inquire from them and we should take knowledge from them because even if you go to the temple you will find many people who are discussing about cricket who got a job who is having an affair you will find this especially uh, at least i find find means i hear <laughs> so just by going to the temple you don't get purified you only get purified when you take darshan of god when you see the archa vigra the form of god and then when you read the scriptures when you hear from enlightened souls only then purification happens okay and then you can also take prasad when you go to the temple which is food which is offered to god and read the scriptures like the bhagavad gita that will help you calm down your mind because that will give you a clear vision what life is if you don't have a vision about life then you will always be hovering like many people come to me for consultations and they say oh i have 10 ideas in my mind should i open a restaurant should i become a cricketer should i become a singer or what i mean i cannot tell you that it is you who have to figure out and i can tell you what what challenges you can encounter in that and how to overcome those challenges but i cannot tell you or an astrologer cannot tell you this is exactly what you should do that is impossible i don't know any astrologer who can tell you like that if you know then tell me i'll also go and book a reading with him <laughs> there is nobody there is no life coach there is no guide who can exactly tell you they can only help you to find things but it is you who have to decide what you want to do whoever you are <laughs> and then have good people yes when you are in home don't keep gossiping about what happened in the office he did this she did that no when you have come home throw the television out of your home just go and throw it in the garbage in the dustbin and then read the scriptures and discuss about spirituality with your wife with your husband with your mother with your mother in law with your father with your father in law with your son with your daughter with your grandchildren <laughs> otherwise they will also become like you so you are already giving headache to yourself then they will also end up giving headache to you imagine you are giving headache to yourself and then your mother gives headache to you then your wife gives then your son gives then your daughter gives oh my god so many headaches <laughs> so we have to become structured first then we have to structure our family members okay and whenever we have time we can visit holy places if you are in south india you can visit kanchipuram shri rangam so many places are there if you are in north you can visit badrinath kedarnath so many places somnath if you are in the east you can visit jagannath puri wow fantastic <laughs> all right so when we have sattva guna inside us when we meet the right people who inspire us who discuss spiritual topics who are not criticizing others who are not gossiping others who are not criticizing their their own life who are not criticizing god who are not trying to forcefully pull others down then the mind is peaceful of course it's i am not saying you will achieve 100% peace that's not possible but at least we can be at a level where even if the rajas is there it is not affecting us that bad but if in the night at 12 o'clock you are going to the club and you are dancing na <laughs> and then you expect that you will come in the night and you will get sleep wow forget it that's not going to happen it's total disaster it's like it's like a royal road for frustration anybody who is going to clubs just go and check their life the most miserable people you will know why do i say that because their the internal disturbance is so bad that they cannot calm it down so they are going to that kind of a atmosphere na oh my god see it's the party time people who come there were barely wearing any clothes both men and both women yes they're drinking wine this that smoking this is going on that is going on anybody is dancing with anybody and then they are saying that oh i don't get sleep in the night you see <laughs> 
oh you give this mantra when is this going to work is it going to work or is it not going to work i don't see any results my dear madam my dear sir you will never see results if you continue doing all those things all right so stop the nonsense and do good activities that is the way how you will get good sleep in the night okay so there you go if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation regarding your life or your horoscope or your marriage or your career or any health issue that you're facing and you want to talk to me personally you can always go to my website and you can book a reading you'll find the link of the website in the description of this video okay until next time pray to god and he will help you sleep properly okay goodbye see you